Flex Solar sent me a 100 watt foldable, collapsible, portable type solar panel. We're going to take a look at it right now. Check the link in the description below for details about where to purchase this product. Long story short, I like it. Watch to the end and I'll show you what special features it has. Let's go. All right, I have this sitting on the back of the truck right now. I set this up yesterday and I really like what it's got so far. So it's got these feet on the back of it here. This is similar to a lot of other brand of solar panels. They kind of fold out and this is what it rests on when you open it up. It's got one there, one there. Two panels that fold together and unfold like that. These right here are magnets. This is an indented magnet and an outdented magnet and they fold into the magnets on the other side so that when you fold it together, you can kind of hear them clamp together. And then it carries around like a suitcase there. And it comes with this right here. Hopefully you can see that in the sun. Okay, so power 100 watts out. It's got a DC type connector right, right here with the barrel connector on it. And it's got a bunch of different connectors that comes with it. This cable here comes with it. And then it's got USB-C here, type C, QC 3.0 USB-A, and then it's got another USB port here. This is built in. And on the end of that, is a USB-A connector also. So it's got two USB-A connectors. I assume that this one's not QC 3.0 charging, quick charging, but I don't really know because it doesn't say. But this one says quick charge 3.0, and that's USB-C, obviously. And then the DC one is the one I've been using, and that's the other end of the cable there. So this, both both ends are this barrel-type cable. Um, BioNO uses these. I've seen them used in a couple other applications, too. So these are fairly standard universal-type barrel connectors. All of these adapters come with the panel. So this is the one I've been using that fits into my the my Renogy power pack. I was using that earlier, and I was getting about 60 to 65 watts of solar input from this panel into the Renogy. And that's about, you know, about four, about five amps, really. Wait, the Renogy measures input in watt in watts, so you take watts divided by 12 volts, and that gives you your amps that you're getting into the panel. But it comes with all of these different connectors. They're all barrel-type connectors. It does not have power poles. It does not have MC4 connectors. So just FYI on that. So I'm going to set it up and show you what it looks like when it's fully deployed. Okay, I got it set up here behind me. Got it pointed directly at the sun, which is up there right now. I'm glad that today is a nice, clear, sunny day. It seemed like a perfect opportunity to record a video for the solar panel, but that's it right there. So it's got two panels, as you can see. There's my shadow in it. <laughs> so easy carry handles. I really liked these carry handles. I thought that was a good touch, but two panels there. Inside of the back here, I've got my battery bank power pack that comes with that heated vest I did a video about a couple weeks ago plugged into over here and then we've got it coming into the Renji pack right now and it's reading at 42 watts coming into the Renji pack which is about three and a half amps roughly of course the Renji is at 99 percent right now and it's saying in 15 minutes it'll be at 100 percent so it might have turned it down or I got to contend with this tree being between the sun and the panel also earlier I was getting 65 watts into this when I plugged it into this guy over here, I was getting also about 70 watts into that one. And then when I put it on the Buddy Pole Power Mini 2, which is the Bio is running the fridge right now, when I plugged it in here, I was getting about 4.7, 4.8 amps. So anywhere from like 4.5 to, I don't know, maybe 5.5 or 6 amps is good. The Bio 100 watt panel that I have, which is probably to date my most used panel, it's... A little bit smaller than this one but it, it's got two panels and it folds up also i can get about five to five and a half amps off of that 100 watt panel at when i'm at the beach in galveston when i've got direct sunlight it's a bright sunny day i can get almost five and a half amps at 5.4 or 5.5 amps out of it per the meter on the front of the uh, buddy pole power mini 2. i really like that power mini 2 because it has a meter on it i've got the jenison controller on the gigaparts box over there and that jenison controller out working on a video for it it does a good job but i don't like the fact that it doesn't have a meter on it and i put the power works meter on the back side of the jenison and 
either there's something wrong with my PowerWorks meter or I just don't know how to read it because when I plug in the exact same setup with the Power Mini, I get the readings I'm expecting to see as far as watt hours and amp hours coming in from the solar panel and I don't get those on the PowerWorks meter. So I don't know if, I don't know if I'm doing, there's no settings on the PowerWorks meter. So I really, really don't know. But regardless of that, this panel right here has been pretty good today. And as you can see, there's not a cloud in the sky. Everything's nice and clear. And this panel has been great today to bring in about anywhere from four and a half to six amps on the, both those power packs, the Power Mini 2 to run the fridge um, with the Biwino battery on it. And I've been very, very happy with this so far. Preliminary tests, I just got this a couple days ago. And Flex Solar did send this to me, so thank you for doing that. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever used one of these panels and what you think about it.